If you love your champagne so much you can eat it, then I've got a recipe for you. Champagne jellies, because we are sophisticated adults who love a classy dessert that's also very boozy. So I have two bottles of sparkling rosé, and we're gonna turn them into jellies, which are so delicious. They're perfect for New Year's, they're perfect for birthdays. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is add half a bottle of sparkling rosé to a saucepan. This is a medium saucepan. And then I'm going to check to see how much I did. I did about half a bottle. I think I need a glass of champagne for myself because it's been a long day. <laughs> and because I like to eat my champagne and drink my champagne all at one time. Cheers. Ah, refreshing and wonderful. So I'm going to put this on the stove over about medium heat and I'm gonna bring it just to a simmer. So the second half of the first bottle, I'm going to add to a large bowl. All of it, just pour it in there. And to the champagne, I'm going to evenly sprinkle six envelopes of unflavored gelatin right on top. And kind of sprinkle it in a circular motion. And you're gonna wanna let this stand until all of the gelatin softens, which could take anywhere from three to five minutes. Once your champagne comes to a simmer and your gelatin is softened, you're gonna go ahead and add the softened gelatin mixture to the saucepan. And at this point, it kind of should dissolve once you add it and start mixing it. If it doesn't, just put it back over the stove and cook it over low heat. Now, I'm gonna put it back into the large bowl and we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients, which happens to include another bottle of champagne. It's very rare that you get two pops in one day. <laughs> okay, so add another entire bottle of sparkling rosé. And once you get all that in there, you are going to add one cup of light agave nectar. And I know that sparkling wine and champagne is sometimes a little bit sweet, but this is just gonna give it that little je ne sais quoi. It's gonna make it so delicious. Okay, so we are gonna let this stand for about five minutes just until some of those bubbles kind of escape. I'm gonna put it over here for a minute. And in the meantime, I'm gonna have a sip of champagne. And I'm going to prepare my pan. So I have a nine by 13 inch baking pan here. You can use glass, you can use ceramic, you can use metal. I like the metal ones because they have really sharp edges. So you're gonna get a nice, beautiful, perfect square when you unmold your jellies. So this is some canola oil, vegetable oil works too. You just don't wanna use anything like olive oil that has too much flavor. And you're just gonna lightly coat the bottom and up the sides of the pan. Not too much, just enough kind of leave a thin slick. All right, we are ready for action. If there's any more of the foam on top, just go ahead and spoon it off with a spoon. You don't have to get every little bit. I just like when the jellies are really crystal clear and beautiful. So I've spooned off most of the foam, and now I'm going to strain it through a fine sieve, a fine one, and that's really just to catch any um, little bits of gelatin that might have solidified. Just pour it right in. Oop. All right, so it's in the pan and we are ready to let this set. So we're gonna pop it in the refrigerator overnight until it's firm and jiggly. All right, my jellies are set and I am ready to party. So I'm going to take a thin knife. You can use a paring knife. I'm using my utility knife and I'm just gonna run the knife around the edge of the pan, just kind of loosen it. Then I like to cut these into one inch cubes. I'm gonna start in the center. And then I'll cut that in half. So I can make all these jellies even. And then I'm just gonna cut in the other direction. Okay, I think I went a little bit bigger than an inch, but all is okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my little champagne jelly. That the new Jello shot. Put it right into my bowl, because there's a lot of ways you can serve this, or you can eat them right away. New Year's Eve is never gonna be the same, I promise. You can serve them in these really beautiful coops, 
and top it with a little sanding sugar. Just gonna give it a little more flavor, but it's also gonna get, give it this really beautiful shimmer. Or you can be like me and you can just dip them right in. This is how you celebrate. It is so good. I mean, who needs a champagne flute when you have champagne you can chew, huh? So good. I mean, who needs a champagne flute when you have these beautiful champagne jellies? I can't wait to hear what you think in the comments and don't forget to tag that champagne lover in your life.